Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is group anagrams. Given an array strings STRs, group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. That's the definition. Uh, essentially, we want to see, make sure that the number of letters that occur are exactly the same inside the word and then group it together inside of a list and return it. Here with the list of words like this, we group together bat, uh, nat and tan, these two are anagrams, and eight, eat, t, these three are anagrams. And we can return these in any order. So the key thing here is to figure out how do we know if two letters are an anagram or not. Now, at first I thought, oh, probably have to use a counter object. And we can certainly go that route. You can do that doing, um, you can do that in squared pretty easily. But the problem is we want to do this as optimized as possible. Could we do this all in one pass? And the problem with using a counter object is it's not hashable. We, we can try to use it, but um, there's no way to hash it. We can't hash lists either because uh, those things aren't hashable. The only thing we can really hash are, in this case, strings or perhaps a tuple. So let's start off, with, how can we do this by creating a key that's going to represent every word? Well, what if we just sort it? One of the things you'll notice is, well, if we sort it in order, uh, it doesn't matter how it's arranged, the sorted order is going to be the same for all, all of these, right? It's going to be A, E, T, A, E, T, A, T. So let's go with that route first. What we'll do is create a lookup or a default dictionary. Uh, we'll have a list as our value and we'll move through our list for S and STRs. We'll just sort our, our, our word. So what we'll do is say sorted and this will return a list. So what we're going to, have to do is a string join. And this will be our key. This will be the key that checks to see if, inside, if it's inside our dictionary or not. So we'll just use this, put it into our dictionary, and append whatever the word is. And finally, all we need to do is return then all the values inside of our dictionary. So this should return a list uh, all grouped together. You can see it's all grouped together like this. It's, it's a different order than our expected answer, but that shouldn't matter. So let's go ahead and submit that. And there you go. So that works. Um, time complexity is going to be n times k plus log of k because of the sorted, right? So can we do any better than that? Well, uh, it really depends on what you mean by better. This is good enough, but we could also create a list, okay, with each index number representing the alphabet uh, number. So a is going to be 0 all the way to z, which is going to be 25, right? So what we'll do is create this array here. And we'll just say 0 times 26 for every character. And we'll have to move through every single character in our word. So for letter in S, what we'll do is just update the index number. Uh, we'll just add 1 here. And how do we get the index number? We'll just use the ordinal function. We'll take our letter and we'll subtract uh, ORD of A. And this is going to give us... If it's A, it's going to be 0. If it's B, it's going to be 1, so on and so forth. And once we have that, we can just convert this to a tuple. Because remember, tuples are actionable, not lists. So we'll have to convert this into a tuple and do the same thing, append it like this. So this would also work. This would be n times k plus 26 to n uh, for this array function. And this also gets accepted. It does seem a little bit faster, so... I suppose this might be the better way, but it really depends on what you find more, um, I guess, understandable. But both work fine. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, one one thing, I'll, uh, one announcement I'll say is some of you might have noticed I've been a little inconsistent with my videos lately. Uh, I've been going back into the office and uh, just there's only so much time in the day that I haven't been able to prioritize this. Um, I'll do my best to continue to be cons consistent. Maybe I'll make videos at the office eventually, but until then, please stay patient with me. Uh, just thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.